Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Jim Flanagan here, and you're watching MHL Sports Center. We're back here with the box scores. We got the scores, the recaps here, and um, I, I want to thank uh, you know I I'm getting help here. I'm getting help here with Sports Center, getting stats going. You know, on the weekends with the top ten highlights, I got uh, members here in the Moose Hockey League helping me out with the uh, top ten highlights. But uh, another guy stepping up here is Fallen Warrior. Fallen Warrior of the MHL stepping up, uh, giving me the scoreboards here, man. The uh, box scores. And then uh, with that help, uh, we'll bring you the show back here, man, since I'm getting help. So without further ado, man, here's MHL Sports Center, the box recaps. We're going to uh, start things off first here in the MAHL. All right, the first matchup here was the Mike Tyson's Tattoo taking on South Park Elementary Cows. Now, these two teams already, already played Game 1 and Game 2 on nights prior, and they just had to finish up the series here with Game number 3. And it's going to be the Cows taking it in double overtime, 5-4 to four final to sweep Mike Tyson's tattoo. Now, it wasn't easy. They actually had to come back in the third period here with three goals to send it to overtime. And then in overtime, it's Sobe IR Fears with the game-winning goal. He had a hat-trick here in this series. One power play goal, a shorthanded goal, and the game winner. We actually have that footage here. Here's the OT game winner by Sobe IR Fears. Our next series here, uh, it's Mike Tyson's Tattoo again here. I had another series to play, and it was against Why So Serious. Uh, game 1, Serious take it, 3-2 to two final. But then game number 2 going to overtime. It's going to be Tyson's Tattoo with the win here, 4-3 to three final. Crazy Yeti Killer with the game winner there. And they take game 3 as well, 5 nothing shutout. Uh, to win the series here, 2 out of 3 games. Uh, Why So Serious do end up with 3 points here, however... Uh, it's Tyson Satu with the series win. And uh, big ups to the goaltender here, Tyre Tons of Clay, playing in two of the games here. He had two wins, 42 saves, a 93.3 save percentage, one shutout, and a 1.3 goal against average. Now, they were without Frosty Nightmare, but Captain Fonbacks and Crazy Yeti Killer stepping up there with three goals each. Um, for Why So Serious, uh, they were missing a whole bunch of guys, man. And then uh, D. Mitch... Got called up to the MHL. So did a uh, little spoiler being called up after game number one. And um, series might have been different uh, had those players still been in there. But nonetheless, Tyson's had to take it. Uh, here's the uh, highlights. We have that game uh, winner, the OT game winner, game number two. Uh, fun back setting up Crazy Yeti Killer for the game winner. And we also have another goal uh, with uh, Crazy Yeti Killer with the setup. Uh, let's take a look. Up next was the Sand City Snipers taking on Knights Hussein Knee. And uh, the Knights take game one, 4 nothing shutout, uh, win game two as well, going to double overtime, 4-3 to three final with Chaos Samurai getting the OT game winner. Uh, game three also going to overtime, and it's Chaos Samurai once again with the OT winner to give the Knights the 4-3 to three win, as well as the uh, sweep here, 3 nothing sweep. Hollywood Bob uh, with 5 goals, 5 assists, 10 points. Chaos Samurai had 4 goals, 5 assists, 9 points. Um, in that here, BD Smith, uh, all 3 wins, a shutout, 37 saves, 86 save percentage with a 1.56 goal against average. Here we had the Moose Milfs taking on Channel 4 News Team. And a great series here by the two teams. Game 1, Channel 4 taking it, 4-2 to two final. Um, the Milfs come back Game 2, take this one, 4-3. to three. But then uh, Game 3, it's going to be Channel 4 with a 4-3 to three win to take the series win here, 2 out of 3 games. Um, Rocco, big night here, man. 5 goals, 5 assists, 10 points, a plus 4 on the night. We have a whole bunch of highlights here from this series. Uh, Mikey Fish with a slap shot goal. We got a lot of uh, Johnny Blaze. To Rocco, they took the number one top ten highlight last week. They might do it again here. Whole bunch of highlights between the two. Take a look. Here we 
we had the Bad Mother Puckers taking on Camel Toe Draggers. Uh, Toe Draggers come out game one, four to one final. They take game two as well, four to three. But in game three, uh, the Bad Mother Puckers win it five to four. But the Toe Draggers take the series here, two out of three games. Um, in that here, Vin Mang playing two of the games, getting uh, both of those wins. And the game that Blaze played in game three, the Toe Draggers did lose that one. But nonetheless, they won the series. Wait, wait a second here, guys. I'm getting word in the back in the production truck. I think it's EWTU Eric. Uh, please stand by, man. All right, guys, we're back on here, and uh, sorry about the interruption there, but I just got a word in the back. Uh, disregard the scoreboard that you guys just saw right there, because game number two between those two teams uh, was a sim loss. Uh, Camel Toe Draggers forfeited game two as the players did back out in that series. So that means the bad motherfuckers take the series here, two out of the three games. My numbers on there are incorrect. Sorry about that, fellas, but, uh, you know, it's the... It's been updated right now. You could check it out on League Daddy uh, on LeagueDaddy.com. They got the full box scores on there. But uh, yeah, it's uh, it's gonna be the bad motherfuckers taking two out of three. Thanks for the uh, correction there, Eric. All right, let's go on over to the MHL portion. Um, up first, we had Trojan Men taking on Hattrick Swayze. Now over the weekend, uh, there's a lot of fire sales going on. Because of the uh, trade deadline, a lot of swapping. And one in particular here, we had NJ Ski being traded off uh, the number one pick here this season. And uh, playing against his former team here right away on Sunday night. And uh, game one, Trojan Men take it 2 nothing shutout. They take game two as well, 4-2 to two final. And then game three going to overtime. And it's NJ Ski with the OT game winner to give the Trojan Men the 4-3 to three win and the sweep here. Uh, NJ Ski, 4 goals, 5 assists, 9 points. Bender had 3 goals, 5 assists, 8 points. Octizzi, real solid in that year. 1 shutout, 84.8 save percentage with a 1.6 goals against average. We do have highlights here from this series. Here's NJ Ski with that overtime winner in Game 3. As well as uh, some other goals by Ski and Bender, 79. Let's roll them. Next up here, we had Freudy Discharge taking on BBQ Gone Wild. Game 1, Gone Wild, Go Wild, 11-2 final. Then Game 2, however, Freudy Discharge win it 5-4. But then BBQ come back Game 3 to win it 5-4 final and take the series here. Uh, interesting fact here, Jimbo playing in that Game 1, getting lit up 11-2. But then he stepped up forward, and game two he had a hat trick. Game three scoring all four of the uh, 40 discharge goals there. A uh, big night here for Goofy J. He had eight goals, eight assists, 16 points uh, with two shorthanded goals. We do have a highlight here, one of those goals by Goofy J. And also we have a, a save here by Ocho Spiko. Uh, let's show the highlights. <laughs> Next up, it's No Trape Claws taking on Don't Cry. I was only joking in. And uh, Game 1, No Trape take it 7-2 final. They win Game 2, 4-1, but then lose Game number 3, 5-2. But take the series win here, 2 out of 3 games. A little spoiler, uh, subbing in here for the MHL being called up. He had a big night, 5 goals, 3 assists, 8 points. Hugh Laurie with 5 goals, 5 assists, 10 points. And then uh, playing in that here, we had Siegel getting uh, both of those wins. He had an 80.5 save percentage. Not bad. Uh, we do have some highlights here. Uh, Siegel played well in that, but we have a Siegel what the hell moment. And then uh, also a uh, breakaway goal here by Spoiler. And a couple highlights with JJ feeding Hugh Laurie. Uh, let's roll. <laughs> And 
the last series here in the MHL was the Angle of Our Dangles taking on the Super Smash Brothers. Game 1 going to double overtime. And it's going to be the Duke with the game winner here to give the Dangles 3-2 to two win. But then game number 2, Smash Brothers win it 3-2. to two, And they take game 3 as well. 3 nothing shutout win. Uh, superstar in net here with a one shutout, an 84.8 save percentage with 1.37 goals against average. You know what had four goals and D Mart with two goals, four assists, six points. Uh, Thamps was out, the starting goaltender there for the Dangles. I'm not your dad filling in. Uh, we do have some highlights here. Superstar coming off with a big clutch save, and then also you know what. Uh, with a pretty goal and also splitting the D here. Uh, let's take a look at the highlights. For the players of the night, first here in the MAHL, we had Chaos Samurai forward, uh, who had four goals, five assists, nine points, a plus six on the night. On defense, Norse Bruin with four assists, plus four, and seven hits. And the goaltender of the night, Tyre Tons of Clay, two games played, one shutout, 42 saves, a 93.3 save percentage with 1.3 goals against average. And in the MHL Players of the Night, forward Goofy J, 8 goals, 8 assists, 16 points, a plus 9 with 2 shorthanded goals. On defense, IR Fanny Pack, 3 goals, 1 assist, 4 points, plus 9. And in net, goalie of the night, Octizzi, 1 shutout, 28 saves, 84.8 .8 save percentage with a 1.6 goals against average. And all three wins. All right, that's it for MHL Sports Center here. It's the your box scores, the recaps, the players of the night, as well as the highlights. Um, once again, I want to thank Fallen Warrior helping out here, making this possible here, and hopefully we could give you guys the full box scores here for all the games here of the week. So Jim Flanagan, this is your edition of MHL Sports Center, signing out.